Hello and welcome everybody in this tutorial I'll show you how to set up Eclipse C and C++ development environment in your Windows platform. So the, there are some requirements for Eclipse. The first is the Java runtime environment. You should have the Java runtime environment installed on your machine. If you don't have Java installed on your machine you can download it from java.com. You can download it from here. And the second thing is the GNU GCC compiler version 4.7.0. You should have a compiler with the latest version. And the third is the Eclipse CDT, that is your C development tools. So let's download the GCC, GNU GCC compiler. There are various ways of downloading and installing the GCC compiler, but I have found a compiler which is which is having the latest C development environment and the latest releases of the GCC compiler. So this is the website. You need to download it from the equations.com. Just go to programming tools and click Fortran C++ and from here scroll down and you can see that it's 32 bit as well as the 64 bit version. So I've already downloaded it. So let's go and install GCC compiler click and run it as administrator so here you need to accept the GNU general public license just hit accept and here you need to give the path where your Eclipse will look for the GCC compiler we will change this path and one another thing you should keep in mind that you should not have any kind of an white spaces between this this will not work if you are having any spaces like user admin or any kind of other name this will not work so I will change this path type ming gw and install it right away so that finishes your GCC compiler installation so let's close this and hit finish now at this point your windows will give an error for program compatibility assistant just go and close this and now we will download the eclipse so for downloading eclipse you need to go to this url eclipse.org slash downloads and download this eclipse ide for c c++ developers i am installing using the browser from the windows system that's why it has detected it windows you can download it for the 32 bit as well as 64 bit I have already downloaded it so let's just go and its installation is very easy just you need to extract it so let's wait for the extraction to complete so your files are extracted what you need to do is you need to just copy this and paste it into the program files so I'll go to the program files and copy So it is copied right now. Let's open it. Make a shortcut on the desktop. Now at this point you need to restart your system. To make the changes come into effect your paths will be set up once your system is reboot. So let's go and restart the system and after that we'll see the installation. We'll see the configuration of Eclipse. So now we have the Java runtime environment installed, the new, the new GCC compiler installed and as well as we have the Eclipse CDT and we have also rebooted the system. So let's go and run the Eclipse. So just run the Eclipse. So make here you need to leave everything as it is your workspace. So just hit OK. So your Eclipse is started, so just you need to click this here, go and click on this workbench. So here our Eclipse is set up for C, C++ perspective. If you don't see the C or if you have not set the C, C++ perspective by default, you can go and select it from here. 
and you can select the CC++ default. Now before moving forward we need to do some preferences, change some preferences. Now click on Windows, go to preferences and from this general tab drop down and select workspace. Now here this is very important you need to check the text file encoding as well as the text line delimiter. So we will we'll go on, gonna be using the source code for cross platform. So that is the default for Windows. And for if you are using a cross cross platform, you need to select UTF-8, which is the standard. And here for line delimiter, you need to select Unix because you are using it for cross platform, and Unix is the standard. Now close this and go to C C++ and select the new CDD project wizard. And here you need to click on this empty project in the executables and this is not the right one we need to select the min gw gcc and click on make toolchain preferred so you'll see this icon here now we will again go to the general tab select the editors and the text editor now you need to make sure that you have to check all these things except insert spaces for tabs and show print margin so i will go and select this show line numbers, show white spaces and make sure that all of this is selected except these two I'll leave it as it is and once again go to the CC++ and go to the editors and select folding and you need to make sure that all of these three are selected except the below one so you need to uncheck all these things and select this one now hit OK and apply the preferences. So after doing the configurations, uh, you can add your working projects here. If you are having some previous uh, programs or some source code, you can also add it from a link to this project. So we'll add the previous projects. We'll select a project from general tab. Hit next and give the name. I'll give CPP. Make sure that you don't use any white spaces here. Hit finish. And if you are having some programs, so you right click on it, add a new folder. And from the fo below the folder name, you are having an advanced tab to hit advance. Link to alternate location. So you can link this to your own programs which you have written previously. So you can go to a desktop. So I am having this one my program so I will select it and select finish so here you can see this folder is here which uh, there is a link to my previous installed programs previously written codes so here you can see all the programs which are previously written is here. You can also add your own uh, working project also here. If you want to work on something, you can add using this C++ project. And you can give a project name such as working CPP. As well as make sure that this min GW GCC is selected. If you, have, if you can't see this, this means that you have missed out something in the previous configuration. And finish. So your working CPP is also created. You can also means you can also copy the programs and copy here into your working directory. So we'll test one program. You can control C and control V and copy this here. So this is your version test your CPP. If you double click this, you can edit here. So here you cannot directly go and run this first. You need to click on projects and click on build all. So once it is built, you can go and click so here you can see that in the console the small program written to check the version so it says that the GCC version is 2.7.2 as well as the version this one 
so there is some another configuration which you need to do if you want to run your program using the latest C11 so what you need to do is you need to right click on the working you need to set this working environment for develop C development with latest releases and select properties and here in C C++ build you need to select settings and from this settings for GCC compiler in miscellaneous you need to add this line same exactly what I am writing here hyphen std is equals to C++ 11 which is the latest release and same way for the C so go to GCC C compiler miscellaneous and here it is somewhat different hyphen std is equals to GNU 11 GNU 11 so here just hit ok so it is complete now so once you are finished with this you if you want to run some another programs you need to make sure that you delete this one just delete this press ok and from projects just hit clean clean all projects and that finishes so that finishes the setting up the C development environment on for Eclipse on your Windows platform thanks for watching my video and ho I hope this has been informative for you for more videos you can log on to www.youtube.com slash technology layer Thanks for watching.